I'm at a point now where I've got the alternator uh, in place. I still haven't climbed under the car to tighten up the bottom, but you can see that um, there's you know a fair amount of room for the uh, nearly twice the amount of output on that alternator. The physical size is a pretty good match for um, the little G10, even the G10T. And um, let's see, you can see the rectangular plug for the uh, three-wire conversion uh, wiring harness that plugs in there. So there's uh, you know plenty of uh, room and a lot of uh, a lot of length on the wire now to uh, make that transition on the wiring harness. That's going to work out fine. If anything, the stud that's out the back of the alternator, the output. Um, terminal is going to require a longer length. I don't know that I could stretch the stock um, wiring harness over there to reach that. Maybe if I went in and unloomed part of it and, uh, and had it follow a different path there over the starter motor, I could probably make it reach. Anyway, it kind of gives you an idea of the the belt position. I'm using the three rib belt because I'm using the the uh, three cylinder and um, my uh, crank pulley. It's an underdrive crank pulley, 25% underdrive. That slows the water pump speed down and also slows the alternator speed down. But when I <coughs> made the calculations on the pulley diameters, it looks to me like if you just use the uh, pulley off, off of the uh, Bosch alternator, that four groove pulley off of a, a four cylinder car, it should give you a 57 millimeter diameter on the shiv and um, based on the, the uh, ratio of the crank pulley even at 25% uh, percent under driven, um, it should still keep the alternator rotor speed about 2000 RPM at a 1000 RPM engine idle and um, that'll make the alternator put out uh, 12 and a half volts at idle which should uh, be able to keep up with things even at idle shouldn't have the lights dimming and, and uh, that kind of action and then um, as the uh, engine RPMs pick up and the uh, alternator rotor speed picks up um, at 2500 RPM um, I should be pretty much uh, up to speed on the alternator uh, at least by 3000 RPMs and I should be putting out 14 and a half volts which is a good range so that the uh, shiv, uh, the pulley uh, sizes um, for this engine and for this conversion worked out really nice. And I'm going to climb back underneath the car so I can tighten up the bolts down there and give you a look at what happened on the bottom.